Hey man, what's good y'all? And today I'm going to be showing you guys what, in my opinion, could be one of the best slasher builds in NBA 2K24. Now look, y'all know every year I find some crazy slasher builds for y'all to go out and have fun with, but I'm not going to lie, this year, I definitely had to play the game first. The way they have slashing this year is, uh, it's interesting. All right, I'm going to explain it later, but first, let's get into the build, all right? Position, you're going to make him a shooting guard. Height, you're going to make him 6'6". Six, six. Weight, you're going to go 210. And for wingspan, you're going to go 7'3". I'm going to be honest, this year, when it comes to being a slasher, you are going to want that bulldozer badge. Bulldozer, I cannot stress enough how stupid it is. It's fun and it's stupid. The way you push people out the way this year is insane. And it's actually really, really fun. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, what I'm going to say about this build is that it's going to have its flaws. They made it this year so that literally almost every build has a flaw to it. All right. So if you don't like something about this build, let me know in the comment section below and I will make another build similar to this and, you know, a way that you like. But I will be making a bunch of other builds after this and I have previously made some before this. So if you don't really like this build, watch another video. I've made other builds. You might enjoy those more. All right, close shot, you're going to put that to a 70. All right, driving layup. Now, listen, hear me out. You're going to put that to a 90. All right, now, listen, when I tell you they changed slashing this year, people are not going to be complaining about contact dunks this year. People are going to be complaining about these layups. The layups you make in park are stupid. If you combine it with pro touch, scooper, acrobat, all that other good stuff, bro, I'm telling you, you're going to be stupid. If you time it correctly, it's impossible to mistime it in my honest opinion the entire bar is usually green if you have the right badges and it's it's broken all right i'm telling you it's going to be stupid people are not going to complain about these contact dunks people are going to be complaining about these layups if you combine them with euros hop steps reverse layups i'm telling you people are they're going to start talking and it's going to be because these layups are stupidly broken all right driving dunk you're going to put that to a 94 Later on the build, if you want to change some stuff to get, you know, 96 driving dunks, you get, you know, more contact dunk packages, you're more than welcome to do so. All right. Driving dunk. You're gonna, I mean, not driving dunk. My fault. Standing dunk. You're going to put that to a 44. And you're not going to touch post control. Mid range. You're going to put that to a 71. All right. Three point. You're going to put that to a 70. All right. Another reason I had to play this game first before I started making builds is I really wanted to see what three point and what mid range you could shoot with this year because you know 2k says you can do things mike wink says you can do things all right but until you actually play the game and experience it yourself you really don't know if it's a lie or not all right so this year 73 point if you know your timing you can find a good jump shot you can green with a 70 jump shot all right or a 73 partner my fault now free throw you're gonna put that to a 59 all right, pass accuracy, you're going to come down, put that to a 70. Ball handling, you're going to put that to a 92. Speed with ball, you're going to put that to an 85. Now, when this build is over with, you will get gold speed booster and all that other good stuff. Just wait till the end of the build. Interior defense, you're going to put that to a 34. Perimeter defense, you're going to put that to a 72. Steel, you're going to put that to a 32. Block, you're going to put that to a 30. Offensive rebound, you're going to put that to a 26. Defensive rebound, you're going to put that to a 36. Now, come over to speed, you're going to put that to an 86. Acceleration, you're going to put that to an 80. Strength, you're going to put that all the way up so you get that bronze bulldozer. If you don't have bulldozer, you are missing out. I'm telling you, it's a fun badge to use. And it's actually pretty crazy. The way I be shoving people out the way is insane. Oh my God, my voice just cracked like twice. Holy shit. Vertical, you're going to put that to an 85 and stamina, you're going to put that to a 99. As you can see, you have finished the build. You do have, you know what I'm saying, your goal at speed booster. I told you you would get it. You can shoot consistently from the three. You're able to dribble. You can pass the ball. You get crazy contact dunks and crazy layups. The only thing you do, you know, sacrifice is obviously defense. Now, if you really wanted to, you could tweak this build a little bit, drop the ball handling. Uh, drop the shooting if you really don't want it you can get those other elite contact dunk packages or you could get more defense or you could get more speed and acceleration it's really up to you how you know you want to tweak this build use it as a template if you want adjust things to your liking but this is pretty much the base build as you can see you get gold posterizer 
Hall of Fame Slithery, Gold Precision Dunker, Hall of Fame Aerial Wizard, Hall of Fame Bunny, which is going to be stupid. The, these hop steps this year is going to turn 2K24 into 2K20. All right, with the hop steps. Whistle W badge needed. All right. Spin cycle. I don't know. I don't really use spins this much this year. I haven't used them or tested them out. It's definitely something I'm going to have to, you know, go check on. Two step W badge. Shooting badges you have bronze blinders, silver catch and shoot, bronze green machine, bronze space crater, silver spot finder, silver comeback kit, silver guard up, bronze mini magician, bronze open looks, and obviously again, silver whistle. Come down to pass accuracy, you have dimer, relay passer, special delivery, and break starter. Ball handling, you have silver blow by, gold handles for days, silver killer combos, gold speed booster, gold unpluckable, gold ankle breaker, gold physical handles, and then gold triple strike. For defensive badges, I decided to go ahead and give this build at least bronze challenger. That way you can get a good contest or a decent contest. You have bronze size feed, bronze ankle braces, bronze workhorse, and then silver off ball passed. Now, once all of that is done, you go ahead and click continue. And I was really surprised with the name that they gave this build. I really was not expecting them to give this build this name, but it really ended up coming out as a legit slasher. Like you think with the 92 ball handling, they give it something like playmaking. But at the same time, you know, you don't have that high of a pass accuracy. But it is, I was thinking they'd have something like playmaking in it, but they gave it the name a legit just slasher. And well, that's the build. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like button, subscribe. If you're new and turn on post notifications, if you want to see a specific build, let me know in the comment section down below and I will make it for you. And yeah, man, I'm out.